In this video, we will look at solving absolute value equations that have an absolute value on both sides of the equation. The process we will use will be very similar to the pattern we saw with solving a single absolute. What we found out in the past was if we had a single absolute value equal to a positive number, we would consider both the positive and negative results. We will do the exact same thing here, saying that we've got this first absolute value, the 2x minus 7, is equal to this other stuff. We will consider both the positive and negative results. We will say 2x minus 7 could be equal to a positive 4x plus 6, or we'll set up a second equation, 2x minus 7 could equal a negative 4x plus 6. Notice we considered both the positive and negative, putting it in front of the parentheses of the second absolute. What this considers is the absolute values could both have this... should both have the same number. They might both be positive, or have the same answer, or the same sign, sorry, or they might both be negative, both having the same sign. These are both considered in the first equation. The other possibility is they could have opposite signs, a positive and a negative. This is what is considered in the second equation. So to solve these problems with two absolutes, we'll put a positive and a negative in front of the second part of the equation. Just as before, we would put a positive and negative in front of the number. Now, we simply have to solve the resulting equations. We can start by distributing the sign through. Distributing a positive doesn't change much, 4x plus 6. We now need the variable on one side, so we'll subtract 2x from both, giving us negative 7 equals 2x plus 6. Now it's a two-step equation. We'll subtract 6 from both sides to get negative 13 equals 2x. And finally, divide both sides by 2 to get our first solution for x, negative 13 halves. To get our second solution for x, we solve the second equation. Following the same pattern, we'll distribute the sign through the parentheses, giving us 2x minus 7 equals negative 4x minus 6. We need to move the variable to one side of the equation. Because the negative 4x is smaller, let's move the variables to the left side by adding 4x to both sides. As we do this, we get 6x minus 7, 4x and negative 4x subtract out to 0, equals negative 6. Now we have a two-step equation, where we can add 7, giving us 6x equals 1. And finally, dividing both sides by 6, we get our second solution for x of 1 sixth. There are two different numbers that could be plugged in for x to make this absolute value equation true. Negative 13 halves and the 1 sixth. We found these two equations by considering both the positive and negative results of that second absolute value. To consider both when the signs match or the signs are different, but still the same number.